If you have the whole dunya and you haven't found Allah, you haven't found anything. It requires a journey. Oh, that's what the insan. Ya ayyuha al-insanu innaka kadihun ila rabbik kadihan famulaqi. Oh, the whole journey, the whole human life is a journey. And that journey is a search. Where from, where to, and why? You know the main three questions philosophers always asked? Huh? Where, to, where from? Where to and why? Where did I come from? Where am I going and why? That, that's the journey. That realization needs a journey. But the beginning of the journey has to have that love. There has to be that love to search for him. That love that keeps you devoted, searching for Him. That you don't give up. That you're relentless until you find Him. Or you die trying. Until you find Him. So you find your purpose. You find yourself in the sense. Remember the ayah that Allah Jalla Jalalu was saying, I always remind myself with it. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Nasu Allah fa'ansahum anfusahum. Allah says, which means they forgot about him. So he made them, as a consequence, forget themselves. They forgot about him. They think now, they're busy with the ni'mah rather than the mun'im. Huh? They're busy with what he gave them rather than the one who gave. They forgot about him. So as a consequence, he made them forget themselves. They live their whole life forgetting themselves. They find themselves way at the end. When someone knocks the door and says, Time to go. Nasullah Pa'ansahum and Fusahum. They forgot Allah. Allah made them forget themselves. They remember everything but their soul. Everything but their soul. Don't forget him. If you turn the mafhum al if you reverse the meaning, it would mean don't forget him so you can find yourself. You find it means your true purpose. Search for him to find yourself and where you belong and what you should be doing. Priorities. Hadith Ahmad. والحديث صحيح رجاله ثقات وأكثر رجاله انتار يا رجال الشيخين اكسبت لبيد وهو من رجال مسلم ثقة يعني عن ابن عباس حبر الأمة وبحرها رضي الله تعالى عنه on the authority of سيدنا ابن ابن عباس رضي الله تعالى عنهما the ocean of knowledge of this أمة نعم حبر الأمة وبحرها رضوان الله عليه Ibn Abbas says this, and this hadith is long, so let me just take you through it. Someone who has love, the first station. He's trying to reach the final, the third station. But how is that love will make him relentless in trying to find, to reach the final destination? Let's see. Ibn Abbas says, Haddathani min fi. And he told me. Young man, hadith is long, so I'm gonna, if I say it in Arabic entirely, it might take us too long, but let me try to, you know, go through some abbreviation, main, main milestones in the hadith. He says, Kuntu shabban, I was a young man. This is a young man in Persia, Ibn Abbas is saying, telling us the story of this young man. Min qaryatin yuqalu laha ji 
from a village called G around Isfahan. Uh, in the Arabic, we call it, the hadith says Asbahan. Lakin, it is called Isfahan in English, I think. They say Isfahan, Nisfah Jahan, or something in the old days. I don't, there's no more Nisfah Jahan. But now Google is all it, you know, Kulla Jahan, that's it. There's <laughs> anyway. But this young man from was Isfahan, or a village there. Oh, his father, Min Dahaqina, he says, my father was from the chief people who were in charge of the fire-worshipping temple. And he used to fear on me a lot. So he enforced me, he enforced an embargo that I should not leave the temple ever. And I grew up knowing about the temple and its rituals until I became the one in charge of making sure the fire that they were worshipping is not lit, not put off, is always lit. But the love of Allah in this young man, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِ He needs to search, He's not, his thirst is not getting quenched. He says, until one day, my father has a business in so-and-so daya, in a village a bit far away from where we lived. And he got occupied, he couldn't go, so he had to send me instead. So he told me, go to that village and come back before sunset, because he's afraid about him. He says, I went was my chance uh, young man he wants to go explore uh, and his father he's so scared for him, he doesn't want him to leave the house he says I went and on the way I stopped I heard voices coming from a worship place and chants and things I came in it's a church uh, for people who were Christians he says I entered and I remained with them. I liked it. And I spent the whole day, I forgot about myself. Until the time already has passed, it's already night. I went back to my father fearful. I arrived there, what happened to you? He says, I didn't even continue to the village where you asked me to go. Because on the way I found, at the hadith sahih, huh? I'm not telling you, I don't tell you stories. I'm not here to tell you stories. Until I found these people, Christians, Nasara, and they're worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a church, and I loved what they're doing. He says, Deenuka wa deenu abaik khair. Your deen and the deen of your father is just better what they, what, than their deen. He says, I told him, La wallah, O Father, by Allah, no. I found those people praying to Allah and glorifying him and we're worshiping fire he says you don't leave this this temple anymore huh? Kalas, that's it he said i sent a written letter yani to these christians i told them who is the where did you get your deen from who was the center in the world who knows your deen i want to learn he's search he wants to search for allah it seemed like those people at that church did not give him all the answers. They gave him enough. But he was looking. They told him, you have to go to Asham. Yani the land of the Levant. For huh? Sham. He says, okay. He sent him a letter. Said, when you have a caravan going to Asham, send me a message. I will come and travel with you from Persia all the way to Sham. Soon enough, after some time, a caravan came of Christians, came from Asham to Persia to these people's church, and they sent a quick message to this young man who was in the temple of fire worshiping, said, the caravan is here, they're ready to depart, hurry up. 
He says, I freed myself from the temple and I went all the way to the church and I joined their caravan in that travel, long travel to Asham. He said, I, he got to Asham. He says, take me to the chief monk, the most knowledgeable scholar in Christianity. He says, they took him to that big church. He says, this is the man. So this young man came to him and says, would you allow me to come and serve you and learn from you and accompany you? He says, yes. He says, he allowed me, so I served him and I served the church and I was there and I lived with him. He lived with him for years until he died that monk this young man obviously now after how long i don't know maybe 10 20 years after that man he maybe is no longer a young man but he says wakana rajula su this monk was a bad man this head of the church he says was a bad man he would call people to be good and he would be bad he would call people to give charity and he would take that charity and hide it and save it for himself. So when he died, he says, when he died, all the followers there in the land of the Levant, Fisham, they gathered and they're doing the memorial service and they buried him. They asked him, you young man, well, no longer maybe young man, you lived with him and you served him close up. Tell us about him. He says, you want me to tell you the truth? They said, yes. He says, he was a bad man. He was our man? You know, he was a bad man. How? Where's the dalil? Where's the evidence? He says, the money that you gave, he is saving it all in barrels in the, deep, in the bottom of the church. Show us, let's see. He says, فَأَخْرَجْتُ لَهُمْ سَبْعَ كِلَالٍ مِنْ ذَهَبٍ وَوَرِقٍ I, I led them to seven big jars, they have gold and what it fiddah, silver. He says, when they saw this, they went, they dug him out, and they crucified him after death. Okay, you don't crucify him. The man is dead. They crucify him and they start throwing stones at him after he died. He says. In his place, then they appointed a man, another man. And he allowed me to be his servant and serve him. He says, and I lived with this man. He lived with this man for a long time. The new head monk. He says, and this man was the most pious of people I've ever seen. I have not seen anyone like him. Fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala day and night he says i served him and learned from him all his life but it seems that this young man or this man now anymore and long any longer no longer young man has not yet he that derived that love for allah is keeping him searching for him but he has not found allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yet he says i served him until that monk now is on his deathbed he's dying I came and told him, oh teacher, I served you all this, all your life. And now you're dying. And I don't know where else to go after you. Can you please guide me to someone who is like you so I can learn from him? He wants to search for Allah. Though this man was pious, yet he hasn't found Allah yet, this, this young man. But the love keeps him going. He says this dying uh, uh, Christian scholar that was dying, he says, I don't know anyone on earth like me except one man in Mosul, in Iraq, northern Iraq. There is so and so city in northern Iraq. Go and follow, look for him and tell him I sent you. And the man, this teacher died. He says, I buried him 
and I was sad. I took my things and I left the land of the Levant, Sham, to go for my new teacher in the northern Iraq. He says, I went there and I found him. I told him, oh teacher, so and so your friend sent me to you and said there was no one on earth like you. Would you allow me to serve you and serve your church so I can learn from you? He said he allowed me. And I served him. He served him for years and years. Until that teacher now is ready to depart and die. He says, on when my teacher is on his deathbed, I asked him, oh, my teacher, I have sent, been sent to you and I don't know anyone who tells me, leads me to Allah, يعني, other than you. Can you send me to someone after you who would lead me to him? He's still searching for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But he hasn't given up because the people of love, if you start with love, you'll never give up. He says, he led me to someone in Nusaybin, another city. He says, I don't know anyone on earth but him that is on the same thing. Look at that. Yani, these are the top notch of scholars at that time. And the top notch was sending him, I, there's no one on earth like this anymore, except one person. That's back then in the good old days. Hmm? He says, I went to that then city, the new city, after I buried my teacher. And I did the same thing with my new teachers. Can I help? Can I serve you? Would you allow me to serve you and serve? He says, yes. He says, and I lived with him also. Years went by until that fourth teacher also is dying. I told him, tell me, oh teacher, where do I go? He hasn't yet found Allah. His heart is not resting because Allah said, "Ala bi dhikrillah tatoma innu al-qulu." A dhikr doesn't mean that you mention him only on your tongue, Habibi. A dhikr is linguistically speaking opposite of ghafla. Huh? A dhikr ضد الغفلة. Huh? Many people could be doing whether in their subhas or in their hands. He's doing. He's in ghafla. His istighfar need an istighfar for this istighfar. Yeah, it's not the point that you let your tongue just do this. Is not dhikr. And you know, as in the mantiq and others, they say that things are defined oftentimes by their opposite. How do you define the day? By the night. How do you find the night? Define the night by the day. But that's if you don't have sunnah, you have day and night. But Al Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave you the sunnah. He says, Taraktukum hadith sahih ala al mahajjati al bayda. I left you on the clear path. Layluha kanahariha. Its night is as clear as its day. La yazigu anha illa halik. The only one who deviates from it is the one who is perished. Hmm? There is no day and night there because it's all day. Al dhikr is ضد الغفلة ولا أنت you think يعني you do dhikr استغفر ويك ولا that's هذا ذكر يعني وقلبك غافل له and your heart is in غفلة and in له عن الله تعالى your heart معرض يعرض عن الله تعالى your heart is staying away from Allah and you think your tongue that just utters these words that's the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah wants your heart and soul not what you want your tongue only and that's why into the beginning of your salah is what what's the what's the what's the shart of salah what is the what is the first fard of salah if you're a Shafi'i or Hanafi, لا Hanafi واجب عندك وحنبلي. النية. Where is the نية? On the tongue. النية محلها القلب. النية is in the heart. يا سائلي عن شروط النية القصد والتعيين والفرضية. ها؟ النية محلها القلب يا حبيبي. النية is in the heart. 
That's why وجهت وجهي للذي فطر السماوات والأرض. That's why I ask, Ya Allah, in my heart I'm praying. I am directing my heart towards you. Huh? Would that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in a place or a direction? لا. That's not the meaning. But you're submitting yourself to him. You're searching for him. This young man, or no longer young man, now he's outlived four of his teachers and they're living and they're living long. And now this fourth teacher is on his death, but he says, teacher, who do you leave me to? He says, I don't know on the face of the earth anyone like this except one man in the land of the Romans. Fi Ammuriya, the hadith says. It's where the Romans are. Go to him. And this man now after, he says, after my teacher died, I buried him. But still in kuntum tuhibbun, he has not reached yuhbibkum maybe yet as far as we know. Lakin, waladina jahadu fina lanahdiyanna hum subulana, Allah says. Those who struggle to find us, we will guide them to our way. But you have to struggle. وَهُزِّي إِلَيْكِ بِجِذْعِ النَّخْلَةِ تُسَاقِطِ لكن there has to be struggle without without shake the palm tree ya Maryam there's no there's no dates coming you have to shake the palm tree who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave her fruit and other things before she was there was even a palm tree when she was in the mihrab he gave her everything but now it's a sense of that says now a walking to Allah, in the sayr to Allah, in the journey to Allah, there's no granting usually. You have to shake the palm tree to get. You have to struggle to get. You have to do effort to get. That's why even Maryam radiallahu anha wa alayhi salam, huh? even though she is Siddiqa, all these things, she still has to shake the palm tree until the fruits come. تُسَاقَطْ عَلَيْكِ رُطَبًا جَنِيًّا فَكُلِي وَشْرَبِي وَقَرْبِي عَيْنًا Eat and drink and be comfortable with what Allah has granted you. You did shake the palm tree, but sh that shaking or that, that, that work that you do, that's not the reason for your rizq. It is an act of worship that Allah made a reason that He wants you to do, but the rizq is from Him. So now this man travels all the way to Ammuria, to where the Romans are. He finds this, this monk. He says, can you please, this so-and-so, your friend, the people who know, they know each other. Huh? Those who know, they know. Well, those who don't know, uh, you know they, they say that people of uh, four kinds. Those, a man who knows, and he knows that he knows. He knows, and he knows that he knows. Now, there is another person, a man who knows, and he doesn't know that he knows. Wake him up, alert him, tell him, you know, you, know, you need to take your position. And there's a third kind, one who doesn't know. And he knows that he doesn't know. He doesn't know, and he knows that he... يعني لا يعلم ويعلم بأنه لا يعلم. هذا جاهل فعلم هذا. He is jahil, teach him. No problem. Well, the worst sign is the one who doesn't know, and doesn't know that he doesn't know. And you know if he, he knows, and he knows that he knows. Well, he knows, and he doesn't know that he knows. Like he doesn't know, and he knows that he doesn't know. We can deal with all this. Like, تعال, come, خد, انت. We'll deal with this. He doesn't know, who doesn't know that he doesn't know. There's nothing you can do. That's wallahi, ya habibi, wallahi, that's what life is. In the deen, especially, everybody is Shaykh al-Islam. al-Anam, all the titles in the world, we compacted and we... You know, if we can compact them all, we put them there, and خلاص. يعني أبو حنيفة himself almost. 
والله تلك اذا قسمه ضيزى اي والله خير This man went to Amuria. The Hadith I'm still with you in Musnad Ahmad. The Hadith is correct, huh? And others narrated it. I mean, but they are all different. This is a narrative of Ahmad Kamil. He goes to the land of Romans. He finds this man. He says, "Can I serve?" Huh? Maho, people don't like to serve. Shuf, intabe. People like to be on the chairs, on the kursi. Right? The kursi is the most important. And only one kursi there should be. Other kursis, we knock them out. We will fight and kill each other about the kursi. I don't care if the jama'ah is three people. Huh? Or two people will kill you. Who's, the, who's got the kursi? This is a musibah. And we're willing to sacrifice what's valuable and what's ethical and even what's deeny for the sake of the kursi. He says, "Will I? Can I? Would you allow me to serve?" You know, people don't. What do you mean, serve? Khidma? No, khidma is in the back. Nobody knows who you are. Everybody wants to be on the microphone. Huh? What do you mean, khidma? Khidma? Nobody sees me. Nobody. I can't talk. I can't. You know. Nobody points. Says he is the scholar. He is the kada. He is the, you know, the good one. He, no, no. Khidma in the back is مشكلة يعني is a مصيبة. It's a disaster you put me in the back. I need to be seen. See me, I'm here. Mu al-Sha'ir says, Mal al-Sanabil tanhani bitawabu'in wal-farigatu ru'usuhunna shawamikhu. Ay, wallah. It says, Mal al-Sanabil, the husks that are filled with wheat. Anta, you are in Arkansas. You relate to this. Lots of agriculture. Yani, al-husk that's filled with wheat the poet, the Arab poet says, Tanhani bitawadu'in. It almost bows down because it's filled. Huh? Filled? It's filled. Fi jannatin aliya qutufuha daniya. Taba'an daniya maliya qutufuha daniya. Al jannah is aliya. Lakin the fruits are so close to you. Why? Because it's bearing so much fruits. It's heavy. It's almost bowing down. Notice, the tree that is, that bears fruit full, it's almost bowing down. But the ones that are empty, they're standing like this, see me, I'm here. Huh? Oh, the children of Adam are similar to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah mustaan. He went in khidmah. Khidmah. He says, can I, in Ammuriya, he says, can I serve you? He served already four of the highest top monks and scholars in the world at that time. He says, yes, you can. He says, I served him all his life. Huh? Until he is on his deathbed. The fifth one, he says, he tells him, I beg you, where do I go after you? He hasn't found what he wants yet. That teacher, he told him, you have now arrived an era, a point in time in history, where there will be a prophet coming out of the land of Arabia. You have already, now he has lived so many decades he says now the era and the time for someone some man coming out of the land of Arabia has already entered it is he doesn't know exactly says any time so if I were you I would go after me and look for that man he's the one who guides you to Allah you're looking for him he is the one who guides you to him he says any signs he says yes he accepts the hadiyah, but he doesn't accept sadaqah. وَبَيْنَ كَتِفَيْهِ خَاتَمُ النُّبُوَّةِ صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم And he has the seal of the prophecy on his back, صلى الله عليه وسلم. He says, well, I, I took this, 
While I was there, there was a Qabila. There's a tribe from Kalb. Kalb, Qabila. Huh? From the Arabs. Yani so and so, Al Kalbi. Huh? It's said. Hadul Bani Kalb, they're traveling to Amuria, to the land of Romans, and they're from the Arabian desert. How that this young man, he says, well, no longer young man, huh? He says, I found them. I told, he says, while I was serving there, that, that, that my last teacher, I had grown some cattle. I had few cows, a cow and few sheep. Baqara wa ghunaymat. Cow and few sheep, that's, uh, that's, that's wealth. He says, when I saw these people, I heard about some caravan from the Arabian desert, from Bani Kalb, that came I, to, to Amuria, to the land of Romans. I went to them and I asked them. I told them, look, all I want is for you to take me back to your land, to the desert. Huh? And I'll give you whatever you want. You know what? How about I give you all what I have? That love, when you love, you don't calculate much about things to seek your beloved. Numbers are no longer important. What do I give? What do I need to do? He says, take my baqara wa gunaymat, take my cow and all the sheep that I have, just take me with you in your way back. Let me accompany you, carry me with you until you land me in your desert. Then I will be on my own. I'll, I'll look for what I need. He didn't tell them why. Hmm? You will never achieve piety, the ayah says until you spend from that you love most. For Allah is tayyib, la yaqbalu illa tayyiba. Allah is tayyib, only accept the best. You want him? Well, if you love him, if you love the creation, you don't ask. And if you love the creator, walillahi al-mathar al He gave them everything. He says, I, get I, who, I don't care. I just, I am on a search for him. He says, they took me with them. These qafila, or these, this, uh, this caravan or convoy from Bani Kal. Until we came to the Arabian, or we arrived, we, they, they traveled days and nights until they arrived into the Arabian desert. Guess what they did? They chained them up and sold them into slavery. I, I gave you... Huh? Well, I gave you a baqara, and I gave you cow, and I gave you she. I just want you to take me there to lead me. Well, when they got to the desert, they figured, look, <laughs> we have an extra person. We can not only we take his baqara and we take his cattle, but we can actually just take him and chain him up and sell him into slavery and make some money out of him. Huh? Well, they, they, in the Arabic language, they say it. <laughs> Allah knows best. I'm not saying this is a shari'i saying. Lakin, al insan al mu'min yasna'u al khayra fi ahlihi wa fi ghayri ahlihi. Al mu'min does good. Whether it is the people are worthy of receiving good or the people are not worthy of receiving good. Because if the people are worthy of receiving good, then you've done good in its right place, where it belongs, what you should do. And if the people are not worthy of receiving good, you're worthy of doing good. Huh? Now. He said, they chained, they sold me into slavery. So one man, they sold him to a Yahudi from Bani Quraidha. Oh, actually, before Bani Quraidha, they sold him to a Yahudi there in the desert. He says, they sold me and now they worked me in agriculture. I'm working into uh, these things and, you know, as a slave for that Jewish man. His mind is where it is. He's still looking. He's searching. He says, until 
the slave master that owned me had a visit from one of his cousins from Bani Quraidha. Bani Quraidha, where were they living? At that time, Yathrib, yani in Medina. He says he visited his relative and he liked me. He says, will you allow me? He asked his cousin, will you allow me? Sold me your slave, I'll buy him over from you. He says, so my slave master sold me to another slave master. Huh? Look now, this one, this, this man is a wealthy man, comes from a higher level in society. He's been sold twice into slavery. So he says, this Yahudi from Bani Quraiva now bought me and he took me with him where to? Medina. He doesn't know. He says, it's Yathrib. He says, now he, he, I'm working on the palm trees to make the long story short because the hadith is long, like I said. He says, until I was on top of the palm tree and I heard doing, doing the work on the palm tree and I heard my slave master one day out of those days having visitors and saying, how fool, He's, they're talking to each other, he's overhearing. Huh? You know I'm who I'm talking about, obviously. Right? Salman. Salman al Muhammadi. No? Salman al Muhammadi. Not Salman al Farisi. Or Salman, if you want to say Salman al Farisi, you're fine. And I call him Salman al Muhammadi because the hadith is Hassan, where an Nabi, you all attributed to Ali, both of them. Though the one, the son to Ali, a sah, yani mawkuf and hakada. لكن ورد أيضا مرفوعا إلى النبي صلى الله عليه وآله وصحبه وسلم سلمان منا آل البيت سلمان is from us أهل البيت so now he becomes محمد سلمان is not just Farisi anymore سلمان he says I overheard them two my my own my slave master and the other one they're speaking they're saying these Arabs are crazy. They're gathering in Quba. You know where Quba is. They're gathering in Quba. They're saying there is some man from Mecca that came to them who is claiming to be a prophet. He says, when I heard these words, I remember what my teacher told me. I almost fell off from the top of the palm tree down. Now Al-Mahabba, Alaha Sha'an. Al-Mahabba now starts moving the heart of Salman. Notice, now this Mahabba was already there. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ He was already in the first station. But this Mahabba now is still, it's, it's kindled. It's never, it was never put off. The light of Mahabba, the nur of Mahabba was, the flame of Mahabba was never off. It was still pointing him. He's gathering, he's looking for Allah. And he has not found Allah. He was with one teacher to the other teacher to the other teacher. He traveled the worlds and the seven seas, like they say, huh? And he still has not found Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, when I heard that this, this, I almost fell off. I came down running and I said to my slave master, who is he? Where is he? He said, and he took and he hit me so much, so hard. He says, what, 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 is this, what is the business of you? Go and do where you work. He says, I waited until night time. I finished my work. I took some food that I had gathered. And I went to Quba. It was not that far. Bani Quraid al Quba. He says, I went. He remembered his teacher. He accepts the hadiyah, but he doesn't accept sadaqah. He says, I came. I saw the people gathering around a man. I said, Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. He said, I heard your travelers. So I brought you some food here. He says, what is this? He says, it's sadaqah, charity. He says, then I watched him accepting it and telling his companions eat from it. But then I watched him not eating anything from it. It clicked. Huh? Shuf, now, now the heart of Salman, the, the love is going, huh? the flame is up. Huh? Is that th he's been looking all his life? Is this the one? He says, I went back. The next day, I ca he cannot leave during the day. So he says, At night, I prepared some more food and I came to them in Quba again. I said, You know, it seems like you're still strangers here. Let me help share some food with you. And, and Nabi asked him, 
what is this? Is this sadaqah or hadiyah? He says, no, this is a hadiyah. He says, then I saw him eating with his companions. It's confirmed to me. Now, huh? there's one more thing. He said, then I uh, escaped one other day to make the store dogs, the hadith short. He says, and I tried to walk behind him to see the seal of prophethood. He says, Salman, radiallahu anhu wa arda, says, it seems that he felt that he knew what I was after. So he revealed his honorable shoulder to me from the back. Once I saw it, Salman says, فَانْكَبَبْتُ عَلَيْهِ أَضُمُّهُ وَأَبْكِي I fell on him, hugging him and crying on him, صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم. Now, if you found him, you're already at the second station. إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي he found the second station that will take him now to his final destination. يُحْبِبْكُمُ الله. And he says, فَانْكَبَبْتُ عَلَيْهِ أَبْكِي I now threw myself on him, صلى الله تعالى عليه وعلى آله وسلم, crying, he found his love, finally. قُلْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي but how can you have ittiba' if you don't have love before ittiba' and if you did not find him sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam you think you're gonna find the mustafi without finding the mustafa you're gonna find the, the one who chose without finding the one who was chosen ayat that you have to go that's why Allah sent the Mustafa so you can go through the Mustafa to the Lord of the Mustafa subhanahu wa ta'ala. How can you find the Mustafi, the one who chose the Lord of the Mustafa without finding the chosen sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِعُونِي You have to have the love and you have to find him in order to what? يُحْبِبُكُمُ اللَّهِ That was the trip of someone who was searching for Allah. That was his life journey. That's why Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Salmanu minna. Salman is from us. 